NASA's rover photographed from above coming in to land on Mars. And it's already delivered this, the mission's first pictures in colour from the surface of the red planet. And the scientists are promising us more spectacular shots over the next few days. We will proceed by taking a bunch, um, lots of images with our masked camera, including we're going to do a uh, deck panorama of the rover, and we're also going to do a full panorama of our landscape around us. The rover's sitting on the bottom of what was a vast Martian lake. Last night, waiting for a signal back and the robot's first black and white images of the planet's surface kept mission control on tenterhooks. Touch on confirmed. Perseverance, safely on the surface of Mars. Even going at 12,000 miles an hour, it took seven months to reach Mars before what NASA calls the seven minutes of terror, where the rover needed a heat shield, parachute and rocket thrusters to slow it down before being gently lowered with tethers. For the next two years, Perseverance will drill into the big question. Was there ever life on Mars? This mission is amazing on its own. Science, technology, and caching samples bring back to Earth, but it's also part of our bigger exploration plans, right? Which involve really understanding Mars and the evolution of Mars and whether there was life, ancient life, um, but also preparing uh, for eventual human missions to Mars. Nothing could survive on Mars now, but billions of years ago, this planet was warmer and wetter. The Jezero crater was once a lake, and where there was water, there might have been life. Perseverance will go round the edge of the crater, beachcombing for fossilised signs of microscopic organisms, which could be preserved in the rock. Scientists say the implications would be cosmic. It would be proof that Mars did support life. The robot's cameras can examine the rocks in microscopic detail, but they'll still need to be analysed on Earth. The rover will put its most interesting findings in tubes and leave them on the crater floor. At some time in the next 10 years, a fetch rover will be sent to put the tubes on a rocket which will be blasted into Mars's orbit. That will be met by a satellite which will drop the capsule to Earth. The firsts don't stop there. Perseverance brought with it a mini helicopter which will explore parts of the planet the rover can't reach. And the mission will test a technology to extract oxygen from Mars's carbon dioxide atmosphere, which could one day support humans who come to explore.